Hey cleaners, here's how to get all seven golden skulls or the secret trophies for the Tunnels of Terror DLC of Back for Blood. And let's start with the cut. The landmark for the cut is this area, which is about midway of the mission. So follow the path where I'm going, but easy enough, it's going to be straightforward from where we are. And normally there's going to be enemies over here, but I've already cleaned it. So once you reach this area, you have to tread carefully because the skull is going to be really close to the edge. And here it is, your unholy holy grail. Next one is going to be in the brood lair. Upon coming out of the safe room, you will normally find it. It's actually like perch over there. Very easy to find and very easy to get to. So once you've reached this area, head to the center of the map. And then on the side of the wall, you will be able to jump onto those two platforms to reach the golden skull. You see that? And now here is your precarious perch. Next, let's get the one in 300 below. So our landmark is going to be this area with that thing, but I'm not sure what that is called. Anyways, the skull is going to be over here at the back of the mining cart. By the way, if you're still unsure where this area is, this is actually the bottom floor of this map. Next is we have the blood stream. Our landmark is going to be the first stream or path leading down. So of course, you have to head down. Once you're down, you know you're in the right area because there is going to be a green flare. So once you've dealt with all the ridden here, head to the left side of that green flare to head up to the floor where the skull is. And so we have another green flare. Now the skull is going to be on the right side of that flare over here. We have another one and this time it's going to be in the caustic cesspool. So our landmark is going to be this area where clean water is flowing down the pipe. And is also the location of the first exit of this map. So now you will need to slide down here and once you reach the bottom, turn to the left because there is actually a hidden pathway. Now remove those webs and also be careful of possible enemies that are coming at you. So moving forward, you'll be able to reach the top and then on the left side, you will have your golden skull. Next is in the sunken passages. So our landmark is going to be the center of this map. So head to the left side and follow the path where I'm going. Now in this area, there is actually a path heading up. So you will need to take that path and then jump to that gap on the wall to get another trophy. And here it is. And the last one is going to be inside the inner lair, the nursery. So once you head out of the safe room, drop down. Once you're down here, on your left side is going to be the heart and a jumping mama. Now head a little bit to the left and you see this vein and on top of it, or at the end of it, would be the left ventricle trophy. Now that you completed all of those trophies, maybe you want to learn more about how to deal with the enemies here inside the inner lair. And with that said, you can check out the video over here. And if not, you can also check out my videos over here.